You're watching Good Evening San Diego. Well, Sandag held a meeting on Friday discussing the broken 125 toll system and appointing a new interim CEO. Joining us now to talk more about this is uh, Sandag board member and Del Mar Councilwoman Terry Gasterman. Hi, Councilwoman. Good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Thank you, Logan. Glad to be here. Let's start off with the new interim uh, executive director. Hassan Agrata is going to be out at the end of the year, right? And we've got a new one. What do that's, you think about that's her? That's right. The, the old executive director has retired and Colleen Clemenson. She's our new interim CEO. She was voted in unanimously Great. with this board. Can you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. So much animosity. Uh, so tell me a little bit about her and why you, uh, why you like her so much. Yeah, I really do. I'm so supportive of Colleen. She is smart. She listens. I really enjoy having intelligent, deep-thinking conversations with her, and she does that with all the board members. She really reaches out and she connects. So what happened? She's the interim uh, executive, right? Does somebody get voted in, or, or how does it work? Okay, let's, let's break it down. Okay. So the very first thing that had to happen is we needed an interim CEO. And one of the criteria that was placed was whoever becomes interim cannot apply for the permanent CEO. However, my personal inner hope is that Colleen will wind up staying at the helm and keeping Sandag steady, that this interim will become more long term. Okay. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, a search will happen. And you know, one thing I've had experience with you know, in my own professional arena is that sometimes the person who steps in is really the right person, yeah. but you don't know it until you do the full-blown search. And what will that search look like? I mean, is that a nationwide search? It's a nationwide search. Oh. It's going to look for a person who can step in and run an organization like Sandex, somebody with the skills, the history, the ability. All the things that Colleen has. Yeah, it, it, it's a huge uh, organization and, and a lot of money. Let's talk about this toll road situation. It sounded like people were getting charged either more or less or somebody else's account. Or I mean, it was just kind of all over the place with these charges on the 125. What's going on with that? Right. It's confusing. I'm still a little confused. And what was clear was that the board was concerned, really concerned about the mismatches in the funds in column A, not matching the funds in column B. Whether it's $1, $8,000, or $80,000, we really want the numbers to add up. So the board said on Friday, there must be an audit. It needs okay. to be an independent, external audit. And boy, I'm going to be anxiously awaiting that report yeah. so that we can all read it. And there was a woman who found the problem and I guess alerted some higher ups that there was an issue and she ended up getting fired and now she's suing for wrongful termination. Yeah, that lawsuit is underway. Um, unfortunately, because there's a lawsuit, you can't say a lot about okay. it. But I, I think no matter what, getting that audit report is going to be meaningful. It'll be meaningful on so many fronts. Let's wrap it up with uh, the Del Mar train tracks. <laughs> Where are they going? I mean, what, I, you know, I get the newspaper there and it's kind of a spaghetti graph of all kinds of options uh, to get them off the bluffs because obviously the bluffs are crumbling. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I made myself a few notes here okay. so that we could get this wrap up right. You know, we have Colleen, fresh new start for Sandag. I also want to give a shout out to Nora Vargas, the chair. She she promised at the beginning of the year that she would not call for a weighted vote ever and she didn't okay. in the meantime we did have a vote on Friday to initiate the construction contracts for Del Mar Bluff stabilization that includes two miles of seawalls along the toe of the Del Mar Bluff. I'm really hoping we can hold off on that, that we can put pilings at the top along the tracks, and let's get these railroad tracks relocated as soon as possible. Yeah. What we do know is that the Sandag staff has said that studying a tunnel under the railroad, under the fairgrounds, and looking at a portal, an exit portal on the south side near I-5, will be part of the studies that okay. happen in 2024. So All we're right. queued up for a really good year. Okay, sounds good. Terry Gasterlin, great to see you. Logan, thanks so All much. All right, Councilmember with uh, Del Mar and also Sandag member, Teresa. Yes.